first period of his life, Socrat got the same basic education as our other dogs. That means that he was placed in a foster home and that there he has the first um, approaches on socializations and basic skills. But in the meantime, there is a continuous ongoing screening to see how he does evolve, uh, what is the potential of the dog. And there we start to look closer regarding the criteria for the Fido dog. And that means that we, have a, we need to uh, have a good insights in his behavior, in his character and his behavior. These dogs need to be very social, full of empathy, but in the meantime stay calm, not respond too quickly to new surroundings, to new people, to hysteric mo movements. So we have to screen that potential and once we sense that potential within the dog, we have to train him in, on, on, on that potential. Another topic that is very important and that's a rather tailor-made one, that is that we get in touch with the center that is going to use the dog in, in, uh, in victim support. So the first one, Socrat, is in, with Police Ghent. And that's the first line um, surrounding. So we had a lot of discussions with them. What is going to be the setting? What kind of people is he going to encounter? And from there we uh, established some minor commandos that we taught him so that the handler can use them during uh, an interview very softly, very smoothly, so to enhance more, even more confidence and, and to have a, an even more better interaction. And for instance, we have uh, the fact of the rest, giving a small sign so that the dog that is already installed, mostly in a sofa next to the victim, knows, oh, I will have, I can put my, my head on the knees of the person just to bring some comfort. That's a very small one, but it means a lot. Mm -hmm. Another is one more sympathetic, a kind of a high five, to get to know each other, to do something, to go get through tense uh, situations. The dog does the high five. Uh, also for police gang, the, uh, there will be encounters with children, victim of domestic violence, and there we have more smaller playing, Topics where we say, oh, uh, we have some toys or some elements and we, we let the dog help the, chin, the child choose so that the dog plays with the child. And those are all small, small commandos that we can give so to get in, an, in a very easy environment to facilitate the, the interaction. So that's the specific training and also throughout the project by the discussions we will have with the police, we will be able to see what do you, what else do you need, what do you want us to further focus on. So it's an evolving, evolving matter. But the character of the dog is essential. Yeah.